The hours leading up to Specialist Ivan Lopez's deadly rampage gave no hint of what was to come. So you, you see him come down the stairs, he says goodbye, and that's the last you saw of him hours before the attack. Yeah. Aisha Bradley says Lopez moved into his off-base apartment building about a month ago. He, his wife, and young daughter were friendly, approachable, and in every way, she says, normal. But you've said hello to him, you've talked to him? Yesterday. What did he see? Well. What did he seem like? He seemed pretty fine, happy. He didn't seem like, you know, the type that to do what he did. At 12.30, just minutes later, Lopez paid the rent, added his wife's name to the lease, and left. Still, no sign of trouble. Command Sergeant Major Nelson Vegas worked closely with Lopez for more than a year and a half. He was uh, one of my best soldiers in the mobilization, and uh, he has a dynamic uh, leadership. Especially Lopez was an outstanding soldier. He, with great initiative, uh, he showed a great, great leadership and a very, very great um, military uh, discipline. Lopez spent nine years in the Puerto Rico National Guard, one year with an observer force in Egypt's Sinai Desert. In 2011, he served four months driving trucks in Iraq. He went on to Fort Bliss near El Paso, and in February, he transitioned here to Fort Hood. He had a clean record in terms of uh, his uh, behavioral, no uh, outstanding bad marks for any kinds of major misbehaviors that uh, we are yet aware of. Yet there were concerns lurking just beneath the surface. Lopez asked for help with PTSD, but had yet to be diagnosed with it. We have uh, very strong evidence that he had a uh, medical history. Uh, that indicates uh, unstable psychiatric or psychological condition. Lopez had been prescribed powerful antidepressants and the sleep drug Ambien. He was getting help. He was seen just last month by a psychiatrist. Uh, he was fully examined. Uh, and as, as of this morning, we had no uh, indication on the record of that examination that there was any sign of of uh, likely violence either to himself or to others, no suicidal ideation. Dr. Javier Amador interviewed Major Nadal Hassan, who killed 13 people here at Fort Hood in 2009. Mental health issues, he says, must be aggressively treated, particularly when antidepressants are given. You have to be very cautious and, and take care to be aware of which symptoms are improving more quickly than others. People's motivation comes back, their ability to sleep comes back, they feel more energy but they're still feeling hopeless and suicidal. The gun Lopez used in his killing spree, a Smith & Wesson 45, like this one. It was purchased legally and properly, sources say, on March 1st at Guns Galore here in Killeen. It's the same place Major Nidal Hassan purchased his semi-automatic pistol before his 2009 rampage, and where Jason Abdo, who wanted to repeat Hassan's acts, purchased ammunition and gunpowder. Those purchases led to a government sting operation and Abdo's arrest before he could carry out his plans to kill. Even though Lopez bought his gun legally, the military says any gun on base must be registered. His was not.